YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Koozie, and welcome back to the Phasmophobia Complete Equipment Guide series. And uh, this is a special video because as of recording this video, we have hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much for that. And with that said, before we get into the video, uh, I do want to make an announcement. We are having on my live stream a Phasmophobia 1K subscriber uh, celebration. It's going to be December the 5th. It's a Thursday. It's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern, and it's going to be an opportunity for all of us as a community to play Phasmo together, okay? I'll be live streaming Phasmo. I'll set up a lobby for us. We'll play some professional difficulty, and it'll be really fun. So you should come hang out for that. The link for that's down below. So anyways, with that said, uh, today we are covering the spear box, all right? Uh, everything you got to know about it, all the tiers, all the ghosts associated with it, plus... A couple tips and tricks you might want to know. So, and I've paid about how to chitter chatter. Let's get into it. We are here on Willow Street on professional difficulty, as is the theme with this series. So, uh, the tier one spirit box is very bad, but you have it for quite some time, so you kind of have to learn to deal with it. We're going to turn on the breaker here, and hopefully, it's in the garage. Let's see. It's not in the garage, but that's okay, because in order to use the spirit box, the lights have to be off. So we're just going to go ahead and talk about how to use the spirit box in general. All right. So you have it in your hand and then you right click to turn it on uh, or whatever your key bind or button press is for the uh, for it to turn on. OK. And then what you have to do is you have to be in the ghost room. You have to have your lights off and a good rule of thumb is to go into the ghost room alone. So I don't know where the ghost is, uh, but Essentially, you have to be in the ghost room alone with the lights off. And the reason why I say that is because right now this is professional. Um, in the overview, once you get into professional and higher difficulties, normally this responds to will either say everyone or unsure or people who are alone. That just essentially means this is how the ghost will respond to you on the spirit box. So if it says everyone, everyone can be in the ghost room uh, and you'll still get spirit box responses. Uh, otherwise, if it says alone, you can fill in the rest. Uh, however, when you get into professional and higher, you start seeing this we're unsure. So that's why I say it's a good rule of thumb to go into the ghost room alone. Now, I did just hear something be thrown in here. That doesn't look normal. I don't think, right? Oh, yeah. So the shoe got moved. So I'm thinking this is the ghost room. So now that we got the lights off, the spirit box is on, we can start asking questions. Now, you can ask the ghost anything, but typical good rule of thumb, I have like a cadence that I go through whenever I'm using the spirit box and it's this. Where are you? Oh, you have to have, you have to, if you're using push to talk, just cue your push to talk on and um, start asking questions. So where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? How old are you? How did you die? Where are you? How old are you? How did you die? Where are you? So yeah, you can just do that. And then if you noticed the on the tier one, which is very stinky, the light next to the Friendly, ghost icon lit die? up red. That means that it probably does not have spirit box, but you'll see whenever we get to the higher tiers, it's a little bit easier to understand when the ghost like hears you, but isn't going to respond. Um, and that is basically just meaning either you don't meet the criteria. It doesn't have spirit box evidence or the lights are on, right? You don't meet the criteria in the sense of like, there's too many people in the ghost room or something like that. Um, but yeah, the other thing too is you can go into your options, change your voice recognition mode to text if you don't know what to ask the ghost. And if you're on console as of recording this video, this is the only way you can talk to the ghost on Spirit Box. But uh, you just turn your ghost or your Spirit Box on and then you have all these questions down here. Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? And uh, those are the three questions you can ask. And actually, if you're having trouble with your mic or something, because sometimes the game doesn't want to pick up the mic, uh, text to speech is, a, or text as voice recognition is actually a very good way to get Spirit Box pretty quickly. Because you can literally just sit here and spam it too, and the ghost will typically answer right away. So I like using voice because you can, an you can ask it all kinds of different questions, and sometimes the voice recognition will bug out and it'll respond to a question like, do you like coffee or some shit? I don't know, but let's go grab the tier two and then I'll cover all the ghosts that are associated with spirit box evidence and uh, a couple things with a couple of the ghosts that are very special. So let's do that now. Alrighty, uh, still no breaker with the tier two here, uh, but that's okay. So this is the tier two spirit box and it's much, much better, okay? Uh, there's, so obviously with the tiers, the interaction radius of the spirit box 
grows the higher the tier you you go but i can't remember the number off the top of my head um and honestly if i were to try and look it up and tell you it would just eat up more time so we're just gonna go with it just know that tier one has the smallest interaction radius i.e oh it's mabel <gasps> jesus christ mabel you scared me okay well uh this is interesting uh this is the grandma ghost model she's in almost every single one of my contracts it feels like but uh yeah so the ghosts associated with spirit box all right, are going to be these ghosts right here. All right, Spirit Wraith, Phantom, Poltergeist, Mirror, Yokai, Onryo, Twins, Mimic, Diogen, Moroi. Okay, so there is two ghosts that I would like to talk about that actually we'll we'll do two for sure, three uh, that I'll that I'll touch on. Okay, so first of all, let's see if we're dealing with any of those ghosts. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? How old are you? How did you die? Where are you? As you can see, the X is popping up, meaning that the ghost doesn't want to give me a response on spirit box. The lights are off. Yeah, the lights are off, even with the breaker off. I don't know if the light switch being on, the ghost thinks that the lights are on, but uh, the lights are off, and I'm in the ghost room, I think, because it's throwing a bunch of crap. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to say that this ghost is not a spirit box ghost. However, there are three ghosts that you need to know. Uh, more so two than than the one, but I will say Yokai, right? Yokai has spear box evidence, obviously. Yokai normally hunts at 50% sanity, right? But if you are talking near the ghost, it will hunt you. It has a chance to hunt you at 80% sanity. So uh, the devs kind of screwed us over there because in order to uh, get spear box evidence, you have to ask the ghost the question on the spear box which would then cause a yokai to hunt you at 80% sanity. So, uh, Godspeed there, friend. The other one, too, is the Diogen, okay? Uh, the Diogen has spear box evidence, and the it has a very special spear box response because uh, if you are near the Diogen and you use the spear box, uh, it will give you a special spear box response. In fact, uh, my most recent video where I talked about how to get the ID badges uh, pretty easily features a Diogen, and it has the... Um, Diogen spear box response in it so if you want to check that out it'll be linked down below in the description the only other ghost i'll talk about that has a special case with the spear box is the moroi now if if the moroi responds to you on the spear box or it whispers in the paramic you will be placed under what's called the moroi curse what that means is your sanity will start to decline rapidly and the only way to combat it is to either just get out of there start a new hunt uh, which I don't think you should do. I think you should figure out that you're dealing with a more worry as is. Um, but you could also take sanity pills to stop it um, from draining your sanity so fast. But just know that if you take the sanity pills, then you pick up the spirit box again, or you pick up the paramic and you get a response from the more Roy, uh, you are more than likely going to be placed under the Moroi curse again. So usually what I do is if I get a response on the spear box and I go out to the truck and I see that my sanity is like really freaking low, uh, lower than it was the last time I was out there, I know that I'm more than likely dealing with the Moroi. So I normally just select it and get out of there. Um, however, the other thing is, is the Mimic uh, has spear box as one of its evidences. So you got to be careful about that. It could be a mimic. It always could be a mimic. So let's go grab the tier three now, and I'll show you what I believe to be is the best tier in the sphere boxes. That'd be a great question for the YouTube comments section. So hey, YouTube, a uh, quick thing while we uh, find, oh, we have the breaker in the garage now. Sweet. Okay, what would you say, we're, we're currently talking on stream about uh, how many hours a player has to have in order to be considered dedicated to Phasma, right? Because a lot of people just play this game on a Friday. Ah, and Zaddy, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate it, man. Um, a lot of people just play this game on like a Friday night with their friends and just have some drinks, right? But obviously, if you're watching this video, you're, you're dedicated. So how many hours in Phasmo do you have? To me, I would say a person has to have at least 20 hours. After that, they're dedicated. They, they are in it for the grind. So yeah, so let me know down in the comments. But here we are with the tier three spirit box. It is so good. And thankfully, my chat came in clutch right there and told me the detection or the interaction radius for all three tiers so the tier one has a three meter interaction radius the tier two has a four meter and the tier three which is what i have in my hand is uh five meters so not only is it super crystal clear um but it also has the biggest interaction radius out of all three um 
And it also is a good way to see if the ghost doesn't want to talk to you on the spirit box or not. So I don't think I'm in the ghost room, but I will tell you, or I'll show you what it what it looks like in action. So where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? So it's already responding pretty quick. Uh, it touched the door somewhere. So maybe this is it. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? How old are you? How did you die? Are you... D yeah, okay. Well, yeah, so I don't know what we're going to get. But yeah, so that's that's tier three, man. It's the best of the best. Um, I forget what level you unlock it. If you know the level, let me know down below. But it's the best, man. So you got to level up as fast as you can to get it. And if you want to know how to level up as fast as you can, you can actually check out this video right here that tells you how to level up as fast as you can as a low-level player um, to get you there uh, before you have custom settings. So thank you so much for watching. Again, uh, the community night on Phasmo. Uh, will be December 5th next Thursday, which would probably be this time or this coming Thursday uh, if you're watching this when the video drops. And uh, the link for that is down below. Uh, I'd love to have you come by and participate in that. It'll be super fun and it'll be happening at 8 p.m. Eastern. So anyways, check out the video right here to figure out how to level up as fast as you can before you have custom settings. And uh, I will see you right over there. Okay, take care.